Jen Shaw believes in due process. The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star is standing her ground that she is innocent until proven guilty as she faces up to 50 years in prison for allegedly scamming hundreds of people, primarily the elderly, through a telemarketing scheme. Shaw reiterated her stance via Instagram on Wednesday after she was called out by celebrity hairstylist Justin Anderson. The avid Housewives watcher asked his more than half a million followers on Instagram why the RHOSLC cast and audience have seemingly not judged Shaw as harshly in the court of public opinion as they did Erica Jane. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star received backlash after being sued for allegedly aiding and abetting her estranged husband, lawyer Tom Girardi, who allegedly stole funds from his clients to fund the couple's lavish lifestyle. When Jane had her season 11 reunion for RHOBH, she was grilled by Andy Cohen. We're gonna put you on a skewer, and I'm gonna fire up the barbecue, the Watch What Happens Live host previously warned the reality star. Jane has maintained she had no knowledge of Tom Girardi's legal woes during their marriage. Nicole Weingart, bravo since Shaw's lawsuit has not been talked about in depth in the first two episodes of the RHOSLC reunion, Anderson asked. Why we all just giggling at Jen Shaw's jokes and outfit choice when we dragged Erica Jane through the coals for an entire season of Hash RHOBH? Shaw responded in the comments section, writing, I'm innocent. And look forward to trial so you along with everyone else can see the truth. Shaw and Anderson went back and forth on Instagram about fans' reactions to her legal issues. Instagram Anderson replied, at the real Jensha the Instagram tried to crucify me when I said we need to hope for the best with Erica, sick. Wishing you a fair trail to baby gorgeous heart. Shaw accepted Anderson's well wishes and wrote back. Thank you so much heart. Shaw was arrested in March 2021 while Bravo cameras were rolling, and the moments leading up to the arrest, and what happened after, were featured on the show. A teaser for the RHOSLC reunion that dropped in February showed Cohen, discussing Shaw's legal troubles. RHOSLC, viewers witnessed law enforcement looking to arrest Shaw. AP, you're being charged with fraud and money laundering. The Bravo head honcho reminded her in the clip, to which she responded, and you're innocent until proven guilty. Cohen then grilled Shaw's husband, Sharif Shaw, asking him, did you ever question where the money came from? Jen has pleaded not guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud and conspiracy to commit money laundering charges, and her trial was recently pushed back to July 2022 in New York City. The third installment of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City reunion airs Sunday.